On the heels of Xbox originally falling flat and attempted gains in mindshare with its showcases, it seems that Xbox has turned the corner, right? I mean, think about it. Not only is Sea of Thieves a top selling game on Steam, but so is now Grounded. And there's word that the Halo Infinite multiplayer is gonna be 120 frames per second. Wow. All that is fantastic news for the console gamer, right? Hold on. Let's think about this. Is Xbox tricking console gamers into supporting PC community more than their own? The medicine. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor, y'all, before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all. So, um, as the precursing comments that I may allude to, I think what has happened is there has been blurring of the lines and we got to be careful when we do this um, because when we look so hard for something positive or something negative, we miss the middle, which is often reality. And I think this is what's going on here for my Xbox brethren and sister in here. Now, why do I say that? Well, first, let me start off saying this. I was going to do a Halo Infinite multiplayer video um, on Friday when it was announced, but some, something came up and I wasn't able to do a video altogether. And I'm glad I didn't because my video was going to be based off my knee jerk reaction, which was, oh, this is fantastic. This is good. And would again, and, and, and me doing that video would have given the illusion that I was that I fell victim here. Um, that I was falling victim to the smoke screen opposed to the overarching thing. Now, what do I mean by that? I don't want to take anything from Halo Infinite announcement that is big for Halo Infinite. I don't want to take anything from Grounded, which is also being thrown in this mix here. Um, I don't want to take anything from Grounded selling well on Steam. That's big for Grounded. Don't want to take anything from Sea of Thieves still holding strong on the top 10 list um, as far as games sold on Steam. That's big for Sea of Thieves. But the overarching question here is, can Xbox gain enough mind share for them to do better next generation? All right. And I'm here to tell you that those individual three things do not check those boxes, check that box off for them. And I'm going to explain to you why. But, you know, I'm a visual person. In order for me to do that, I want you to, I want you to take a look at this. Take a look at something. Put the right up. Oh, nope. Wrong screen. Up. Oh, wrong screen. Okay. Now right screen. All right. So this is the top 10 list as far as Steam games that were purchased um, within whatever time recently. Okay. Grounded is number one. All right. Two, three, four, five, six. Halo Master Chief is number six. Number seven is Sea of Thieves. So you got three Xbox Studio games in the top 10 on Steam. That is phenomenal for those individual titles. That means that they're gaining revenue for those games. That means that PC gamers are loving these games. That PC gamers are being heavily satisfied and they're throwing their money at it at the wazoo. But that does not equate to the big question, can Xbox do enough to do better next generation? And what I mean by doing better next generation, by keeping people invested in their ecosystem. These are just one-off games that people will enjoy and play on Xbox via Steam. Does that mean that these people want to invest in Game Pass? No, apparently not because they're buying this stuff on Steam. Does that mean that these people will buy an Xbox uh, uh, Series X? No, again, because they're, they're playing on PC. So again, if we feel that Xbox has to do better overall, and we feel that the best entry into the ecosystem is via the casuals, and we feel that the casuals, right, mainly play on console, how does any of this here make that narrative any more prosperous for Xbox? Because I want to show you something else that even though these games are being praised and being loved on PC, 
Let's try the litmus where the console gamer's at. The console gamer doesn't feel the same way. And the crazier thing is, the console gamer can get access to those games for free. And they're still not playing them, or they still don't care for them as much as the PC gamer. Let me show you. This is the top 50 list on most played games on the Xbox console. When you look at the console, of course, Minecraft is there. Minecraft is going to be top everywhere, especially on console. They love Minecraft on console. But if you go further down, you don't see another Xbox game until you like collectively take in the top 25. And within the top 25, you have Forza and you have Sea of Thieves coming in at 24. So for the top 25 games, you got Minecraft coming in the top 10. For top 25, it's Minecraft, Forza, and Sea of Thieves. And then in the latter half of the list start coming the Xbox games, Halo 5, Gears. You know what I mean? So again, all these games that you see being lauded here, they don't get the same treatment here with the console gamer. The people that Xbox needs to court because they're more likely to get in the ecosystem because they buy a console because they'll subscribe to Game Pass more likely than not. Okay. I'm going to show you one more thing that you can say MM2K that's just an outlier. We're going to go to the most popular games on PC for Windows. It's a completely different looking list. Fantasy Star Online 2 is top there, but that's free. You know, you got Roblox and Minecraft up there. Oh, you got Sea of Thieves and Minecraft. You know what I mean? But see what you see here? Oh, you see Grounded here. So you have more people. Well, first and foremost, you have more people that are willing to buy Grounded on PC than they are to just get it on Game Pass. You see how it's number one here? You see how I had to scroll down the list for days and days and decades and decades and decades here? People would rather buy a la carte grounded than be invested in the ecosystem altogether. They could get this game free on Game Pass or get this included with Game Pass. And they refuse not to do so. They'd rather pay double the price and just buy it standalone here. So that's not what Xbox needs in order to gather people within its ecosystem in totality. But here's another thing if you didn't notice it. Grounded is here in this list, but it's not here for console gamers. It's not here. So why am I doing all this yelling all this screaming? Because again, I'm not trying to take away anything from the individual announcements of Halo, of Grounded, of even Sea of Thieves. Even though I think Grounded and Sea of Thieves are dog poop, I get it bigger than me. Mike, I never have doubted, even in my worst condemnation of, of Microsoft, I never doubted their ability to make money. What I've always doubted is their ability to take that money and give me mainly a console style gamer the type of games that i want and for you that might be the same quandary that you have can they give you the type of games that you want they're doing a hell of a job with pc gamers but for you the console gamer uh -uh. no so again ask yourself as a console gamer i love halo but the fact that they're announcing 120 frames per second, what the hell does that do, do for me? Because most of you console gamers don't even realize that in order for you to play 120 frames per second, you got to have a TV that refreshes at 120 hertz, which most of you don't have. Most of you don't have a TV or display that refreshes at 120 hertz at least. And most of you don't have that. Grounded. As well as Grounded is doing on PC, it's not even here in the games that you play. And you get it for free. You get it for free. Sea of Thieves doesn't chart high. Halo Master Chief Collection, is that even on here? I saw Halo 5. 
but I don't even think Master Chief Collection is on here. So you gotta understand, there's different communities, different takes, the tastes, and different things that they desire. Make sure that even though we have no doubts that Microsoft will make money, and will make money until the sun sets for everybody, that they utilize that money and they give you the games that you want. I'm gonna go through one last list. Now, this is the stuff that's supposed to be coming to Xbox, um, you know, once they launch the Series X. Halo Infinite, we know that's coming to Game Pass, the campaign is, but the Game Pass, I mean, but the, the campaign is getting dragged. It's gonna be the free to pay multiplayer that's gonna pull people in there. Then we got Fable, we don't know when that's coming. We got State of the K3, don't know when that's coming. Forza Motorsport, look, on, on the console side, people love Forza. It's in the top 25, we don't know when that's coming. Everwild, we don't know when that's coming. Avowed, we don't know when that's coming. As Dust Falls, we don't know when that's coming. Psychonauts 2, well, I don't think that's the game that everybody's been asking for, but we don't know when that's coming. And that's a multiplat. Stalker 2, timed exclusive, we don't know when that's coming. Tetris Effect, oh, that's coming 2020. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Gunk, 2021. Now we got the Medium coming 2020. We got Crossfire Campaign coming 2020, but Medium, we, we gotta see more of that. Crossfire looks dope, but that's not included in Game Pass. And again, for your launch titles to be Halo Infinite, Medium, Crossfire, not horrible, but you're digging yourself out of a ditch. You got to show more. Is that showing more? I don't know. But it's something definitely to think about. And that's it from your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, here's what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. That said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.